So we went fishing at the coast this weekend and I got the fishing poles out. It's probably been, well, since we moved here, I haven't touched them. And uh, they're just dirty, nasty, <laughs> all of that. So I'm going to make a rack for them. Anyway, the idea is I'm going to take, you know, PVC, wonderful stuff. Uh, this was actually just pieces that we saved from our rain collection system at the old house. Um, I'm going to cut off, you know, what, a three, four inch section. I don't know. I just put a stop on the saw. I'm just going to cut 12 of those for all the rods. And then I will use this to drill a small hole all the way through and then a big hole so that I can screw it to the board. Love cutting PVC. Gets everywhere. Okay, so now I'm just marking these each um, so that the, line, the holes are in line with each other. Um, I don't really care where they're at. Um, they're going to just be put on a 2 before so they can hang up, but I just want them to be you know, I don't want one this way and then have to twist or something because then it won't line up on the board properly. So just using this, I can just draw a line, oh, around three quarter of an inch and then about three quarter of an inch that way and then they're lined up like that. So I'm just going to do that on all 12 of them and then I'll get the uh, drilling. So that's the idea for the small hole, and then we'll drill a bigger hole so that we can get the screw through onto the board. And this, of course, will be the end for the uh, handle, and then we'll just put little nails or something to hook the um, tips onto. So. All right, lots of drilling to do. And you gotta love PVC. So what I'm doing now is just cutting these into um, five foot sections. Just put a cross member. Just put a brace across here, a brace across here, and then come up with two A frames and a brace across the top. Then I'll screw these to each one of these here, like that. Got this out of the scrap bin, just cut them down to a foot. So, and then I cut these into five foot. Um, I was going to make an A-frame style, but just for ease of use and, you know, you could still store, I don't know, I'll mark it off in a lot, but probably 10 or 12 poles. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and just mount this here. Um, this will be the bottom. And I'm just going to, you know, have all these up, get them flush. That way it's one foot apart and you can, um, you'll flip this over, of course, that'll be the top. I have uh, a five gallon bucket with my cast net, a tackle box, and a couple of bait buckets. And that's it. So uh, all of that should be able to store on here and then as long as the fishing, as well as the fishing poles. So I'm going to get this screwed together. So that's the platform for the buckets and things. Um, those are the uprights where the... Uh the rod holders and the nails will go. I'm just going to stagger them on each side. I'm just getting everything screwed together. And then right here, I'm just laying everything out kind of to know how high to go with the first one. Um, that way I don't have one too low and I can't get my buckets and stuff on there. Um, I think I went with um, six inches on each side and then I will alternate a nail on one side, PVC piece on the other, nail other. That way you can flip flop the rods and the reels won't get in the way and hit each other.
little trick here. Um, for those of you that don't have like a scribe or whatever, you could just lay this on the floor and line your board up and then just scribe the level of the floor. Um, I don't have that, so this is what I usually do. I just clamp it in place where I want the front to meet here. I didn't measure, I'm just guessing. I'll measure the other side, but basically I'll just cut two out of this first template and it should be close enough. But you can just clamp it up here like that. Make sure you run your front here so that it you know, lines up on the bottom properly. And then just mark your line there. And mark your line on the back. And you should have a pretty good flush mount that follows the floor. Anyway, I forgot to put those on, so I'm going to do those before we go eat and get the screws. And, um, and then we'll be good. Really all I have left to do is put in the, the PVC pieces. So I'm just cutting out the uh, side supports. These are only needed if you're going to actually make the platform for the uh, tackle box and bucket and stuff like that. Um, you don't really need it if you're just going to hang this on the wall um, strictly as a rod holder, which you could do. Um, just leave that off and then put your PVC pieces on there and hang it up. So well, we're back now. She's about playing with the chickens a while ago. We got them all shut up. And um, now I'm going to just start screwing these down. Here it is, hope this helps, uh, give you some ideas. Um, instead of putting it in the rafters, what I may do is just hang it on the wall right back here. Um, all of this stuff's gonna be moved over here once we insulate all the walls the rest of the way. Um, probably be the next project right before winter when it gets a little cooler out here. So I'll probably move all that stuff on that wall over here and then hang this up here on uh, this wall. If you've got any questions or comments or show your racks, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, this was just something quick I did this afternoon. Would have uh, even been faster if I'd have had the screws, but I had to go get those. And um, yeah, that's it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you back in the next week, and we'll catch you in the next video.